Hello beauties, welcome back. Today we have a brand new curated April picks <laughs> with drills. <laughs> welcome to New York City. Today we have a Beauty Within special where we're going to go undercover and look into New York construction. Who cares about skincare? Real estate is the hot new skincare. It's getting worse! Let's see how many times we have to do this intro. <laughs> Hello beauties, welcome back. Today we have an exciting episode where we're gonna share our curated picks for new launches. There's gonna be Pharmacy, Tata Harbor, Inky List, Ben. I feel like I'm rapping, there's yes. Blitz. There's a new exfoliating sheet mask, moisturizer from First Aid Beauty, and Laneige. Yes, there's honestly everything, and I think a lot of people are excited, especially for specific brands and products that have hit the market. And if you guys haven't watched our first video, we do do these like curation picks because every month something comes out. And because we've gone through and tried each of them individually, we're going to share our thoughts. Obviously, Ro has dry and dehydrated skin, so she represents a bunch of you guys. I have oily combination and acne, so I'll share with you my thoughts. Something for everyone. And with that, if you guys are new to Beauty Within, welcome. We chat all things skincare, self-care, and healthy living to find our beauty within. <laughs> Thanks. So because there's always a lot to discuss, let's just jump into it. All right, to start, what do you want to go with? You Pharmacies first. feeling good. Feeling good. It's like feeling good, but it's feeling good. Oh my God, so cute. So I was really excited about this serum because Pharmacies' previous serum and their first serum was a resurfacing honeymoon glow with them coming out of this honey hyaluronic acid plumping serum. I was like, I can't wait to try. Yeah. And when I tried it, Oh man, this with a nourishing moisturizer just gives me like the most glowy skin of all time. Yeah. I look like a glazed donut. It's like a Krispy Kreme. It is Krispy like Krispy Kreme skin. It does look like Without a the calories. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the consistency, unlike most hyaluronic acid serums, which are just like purely watery, this one's like a milky, creamy hyaluronic acid. And there's still a pull. Yeah, much like snail mucin. Yes. It's got that consistency. And one thing to mention is that there is a very strong smell. I think for <laughs> a lot of pharmacies products, either it be like the Green Clean or their Halo moisturizer, they have a subtle honey scent, but this is like, it, it's like you're rubbing Manuka honey on your face. Yeah, so if you guys have not smelt Manuka honey, it is definitely like indicative, that scent, right? It's like and earthy and medicinal. Yeah, yeah, it really is. With a little bit of like earthiness because there's another key ingredient, which is the microencapsulated thyme extract. If you're like us, you might not have realized that this was even a very popular ingredient in any it Makes me think product. of cooking. Yes, because <laughs> it's normally like with your steak or like yeah. potatoes or whatever. But after doing some research, there is studies that suggest it's good for antimicrobial and antifungal properties, as well as helping to like plump up fine lines, which is what pharmacies studies said to have shown. But it's one of those ingredients where we're not 100% sure because there hasn't been too much on it. So take that with a sprinkle of salt. Over your steak <laughs> with thyme. With potatoes. <laughs> so if you were to rate this serum for hydration and plumping, what would you rate it? Probably like an eight and a half, only because when I think of hyaluronic acid serum, it's just the watery ones that dissipate. But this is so encapsulating, nourishing. Yeah, I would definitely say it's at least like a eight to nine out of 10, so like basically 8.5. Mm. It is many, many steps up from a typical hyaluronic acid serum that you'll have. And I think with the honey, with the amino acids, mm. with the collagen, with the thyme, like there's so much in there that I, it's gonna be a, it's just a fly. <laughs> or it's that. <laughs> it's gonna I, be around for a really yeah. long time. <laughs> I'm gonna use it for a long time. Yeah, and you only need a little bit. Any toner I use paired with the serum and that moisturizer, my skin is just like, bing, I'm here. Yeah. 
So moving on to some moisturizers. I mean, we have cleansers and toners and all that, but I think this is cool because we have the first Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. Mm -hmm. Creme. Wow, many R rolls. <laughs> and then we also have one from M Cosmetics. Yes. And this is, what is it? There's the moisturizer. It's the cuddle bomb. It's cuddle actually bomb. so nice. It's from the OG Michelle Fan. Mm -hmm. And this, oh, I love it. Okay, so let's, uh, you want to talk about this first then? Yeah, let's talk about okay. that first. So Today first of just, all, let's talk about Rowena. Yeah. Rowena Ro, Pots. what do you want? Okay, my first thoughts when I saw this, I'm always hesitant when something comes in a bomb, because mm. a bomb on the face, I just think like, like yeah. yeah, weird, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> but when I tried it on my hand, I was like, oh, that feels kind of nice. It's really nice. Yeah, it just like sank nicely, I think. It felt like a lip balm on the face. Oh. Like a drunk elephant lippy balm on my face. <laughs> it's not meant to be a moisturizer though. It's said that you should use it on top of a moisturizer to really seal in and prevent too, too. trans epidermal water loss. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess because it is more of like, not waxy, but that like kind of. To me, it's just like an oil. It's like a light oil. Because mm. it is made with a blend of oils, with squalane, with coffee seed oils. It's still lightweight though. It is. So for $34, do you think it's worth it? I love it. I think you can live without it, but it's convenient. It's very travel friendly. Not that we're traveling anywhere, <laughs> but just to have in your purse. Ooh, I feel like this can also work under your mask. Like let's say if this area gets really dry, mm -hmm. if you just apply this before, so like it prevents it from, I guess like chafing and then also like giving it hydration so that as you move through your day, it's nice and protected and you can continue reapplying this. Mm, that's definitely a dry girl's problem. I feel like you're I like so much moisture. I'm looking at you for affirmation and you're just like. <laughs> I'm like, how does that feel to be dry <laughs> under the mask? Moving on to your more standard, typical form of moisturizer. This is First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This is a very interesting texture. It feels like it's whipped upon, like, I, don't, I can't describe it. I know what you mean. You, you look at it and you think it's whipped, but it's not. And it's moussey, yeah. it's velvety. You know what it is? It's whipped cream. It's whipped It's watery, cream. but it's like 5% whipped. Yeah, because you can tell it's like fluffy and cloudy yeah. almost. Yeah. So some of these textures are like the Paula's Choice Omega Moisturizer, there's the um, Lala Drug Retro. Elephant. Oh, yeah. but I would say this is like 10% of that. In terms of the whipness. The whipness, yeah. Because yeah. this, this feels a lot more wet. Mm -hmm. So I would say the Lala Retro and the Paula's Choice feels a lot more dense. Like oils and shea butters yeah. and stuff. Without being suffocating and thick. This has a slight white film for at least like 10, 20 seconds when you're working it into your skin. Mm -hmm. And I don't like working moisturizer into my skin. I feel like it should just glide on. Invisibly. Yeah. Do you care about that for your oily skin? I think to me, it depends on the end result. I don't like moisturizers that are sticky. Yeah. So moisturizers that work really well for you because your skin just like drinks it all up. It leaves my, it just kind of like sits on my face. Yeah, and doesn't go anywhere except my hair, and then my hair looks greasy. <laughs> Fun fact, today it is greasy. Okay, so moving right along, we have a new type of face mask. And isn't this beautiful? So this is a brand that isn't in the US, it was in Asia. It's the Baby Face Skin Reboot Peel Mask. Okay, we know you guys absolutely love chemical exfoliants, and this is a one minute chemical exfoliating mask to kind of give you that baby face. The baby face. The baby skin that we all want. Yes, <laughs> and I think it's really different compared to other chemical exfoliating products. One, because it's a mask that you put on for 60 seconds and then you peel off and then you gotta rub it in. It's kind of using those peeling cleansers yeah. where when you like, work it into your skin, it turns it into rolls. little, yeah, I mean like, I think for the most part, you're just rolling up the product, but yeah. then it is helping take away some mm, dead skin yeah. scales. Yeah. And that's how it really helps to reveal brighter skin. But the thing with this is it's got AHA, BHA, as well as PHA. And when you look at the ingredients list, you will see that the chemical exfoliants are at the bottom of the list, which helps with that sensitive skin aspect. So after you kind of rub it in for 
10, 20 seconds, you wash it off and it does reveal that like brighter, more evened look on your skin. So you do this once a week and it actually comes in the box with five. So you're good for like a month. Actually, I think this will be a great mask to do in the morning before you put on your face, like if you, if you were going out or like mm -hmm. if you're gonna go to an event, but let's figure out who's gonna a event these days. Zoom event. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to have a great base that's smooth mm -hmm. to put makeup on, I think this will be great. But just make sure to SPF because it is a it's still a chemical exfoliant, even if it's gentle. Moving on to this little bento sphere. It's so cute <laughs> with the little silicon spatula. <laughs> Since Belle uses, I didn't use this, but then I just like put my you put don't my want finger to in. Kiss me no, I do not want to. Inadvertently kiss me. Twenty twenty one. But we quarantined together. <laughs> This is Laneige, Laneige's, Laneige, Laneige's new lip treatment. <laughs> it's iridescent. It is. Okay, before we get into anything, like I was surprised that it's iridescent. 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 <laughs> As a lip treatment, I would just expect it to be like thick and balmy. Um, yeah. Yeah, but this is like a 90s lip gloss. True that. I love it. <laughs> Look, it's iridescent! Now your lips are like... I got that glow, yo! <laughs> and the scent is supposed to be pina colada. Pina colada. Dun, 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 dun. But do you not because it's iridescent? I just feel like I'm applying lip gloss at night when I want something that's very nourishing and cuddly. Ah. Yeah. Hmm. Mucho's interesting. So that's nice. Because you also don't like the Laneige sleeping mask. Yeah. So you just don't like Laneige lip products. Mm, yeah. I love the cream skin. Yeah. I think, okay, to be fair, here's some context. My lips are really dry. They're so dry that sometimes when things aren't nourishing enough, it just is useless to me. Mm -hmm. Right? So I, I put stuff like papa, papa ointment. Yes. I put ointments on my lips at night. Today we have new brands that we have for you guys and we hope you're just as excited. <laughs> They're not like overly well known, yes. but we really fell in love with them upon like first application or there's just something about the brand and the formulation that resonates with us. So we have Beauty of Joseon, More Make Prem, Another Wish Trend, Made Sarah Lip. There's also Isentry as well as Wamisa and some mask, sheet mask and also mask mask. The next product is Glow Recipes New Ceramide Avocado Serum. Serum. Mm. It sounds like a dream. Yes. Okay, ceramides, guys. They very recently put this humble ingredient back on the map of how effective and just how great it can be because ceramides are naturally present in our skin. You know, we produce it ourselves and it has everything to do with a strong skin barrier, which has everything to do with glowing skin, truly. And one of their more, like there's no fragrance in this one. Everything is from the ingredients itself. And I really, really enjoy it. There's this it. cucumber scent to it. It's refreshing. Yeah, it's very refreshing. So this is a very soothing and calming serum that helps with redness, that helps with compromised skin barrier. It actually reminds me a lot of Crave Beauty's Great Barrier Relief. Yeah. But I would say Crave's is a lot thicker mm -hmm. because of like the tomato oil and all of that. This is a bit, it's a bit watery. Yeah, it is. So because of that, lightweight. I don't like it as much. Mm. I really wanted to love it, especially because we saw studies of mm. how instantly reducing of redness it is yeah. and how over the course of a week it can help significantly reduce redness mm. over like for any skin type. Yeah. yeah. And it was interesting how it can affect different people differently. So yeah, the studies were really great and we're actually gonna be doing a giveaway on our IG with Glow Recipe. So yeah, make sure you're following us on our IG. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so say a serum is super lightweight. Because the fact that you normally couple it with like a heavy moisturizer, doesn't it already kind of make up for the fact? I think serum. everything just absorbs so quickly into my skin. It's as if like I didn't even put it on, you mm. know. So the end result is still not as nourished. Yeah. 
It's like every step needs to be 10 out yes. of 10 <laughs> moisturized. I mean, okay, we did this video where she gave me a facial and after she took off my sheet mask, she just like went off and did something for five minutes. And by the time she it came back- It was like back, one minute. It was one minute, okay. By the time she came back, all the serum is already like in my body. That's true. It's no longer, like there's, my skin was dry by the time she came back. It really was. And I was like, Wait, Hello? because normally, like, I'm patting it in for like five minutes and then I touch her face and I'm like, wait a second, something not right here. And then she's like, oh, oh I get it. Uh, your, this is how dry your skin is. Ah, wakari masen. Uh, so yes, 10 out of 10, every single step of my routine. Gotcha. <laughs> so moving on, this is the Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser to help with your cleansing and gently removing makeup. Wow, um, cleansers help with clay cleaning. Tell me more. <laughs> Long story short, I do really enjoy this cleanser because of the ingredients that it contains as well as the texture. So it lives up to the name in that it's brightening because it's got kakadu plum, 1.5%, and also the licorice root, great for anti-inflammatory and brightening subtly. It's always in with like niacinamide as well to help you with that. So the brightening is kind of like checked off as well as aloe vera and fulvic acid. Tell us about that. In the surface of the Earth's crust, <laughs> the hummus of the soil. I think this is so interesting. I love learning about this in school. I yeah. think maybe it was in middle school. Like it's, geography. Yeah, like the leaves would fall, and like you know, it's like a it's like a deciduous forest with a bunch of trees, and then the tree leaves would fall, and yeah. then it, it will decompose with all the other things on the surface layer mm -hmm. of the forest, forest and then that layer is the hummus of yeah. soil. Yeah. If you think about it, that. That is where all the nutrients are packed, yeah. right? There's amino acids, there's minerals, there's vitamins, and it's basically like Earth's natural sediment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this one is specifically from, it's like the Nordic peat. So yeah. it's specifically from Norway. <laughs> Interesting. You know what I just thought of? It's like the skin barrier of the earth. It is! Of the soil. It's the crust. <laughs> it's a crusty dead skin. But it still serves a great purpose. Yes. <laughs> because it gently resurfaces, but not in the way that we're used to. And then moving on to the consistency, it's this beautiful like lightweight amber color and you see the Nordic peat in the gel. It's like little, little like sediments of it. And it washes off easily. Yeah, love it. And then let's go on to Bliss. Bliss. This is their Drench and Quench Hyaluronic Acid and Amino Acid All Day Moisturizing Serum. So this I would say is what you think of when you generally think of a hyaluronic acid serum where mm -hmm. it's clear, it's watery, and it works in very nicely into your skin. Totally, this is like your standard hydrating booster yeah. shot of hyaluronic acid. But I do really like this. Mm -hmm. Of all the hyaluronic acids I've tried, and I've tried many, mm -hmm. this one, like the texture's really nice because it's a jelly texture. The feeling of it's really nice, and it does feel like you just splash your face with water, but then it stays on. And Bliss you can get at the drugstore. It's super affordable. I'm actually a fan of most Bliss products that I've used, like the vitamin C serum, the acne line that had like salicylic acid as well as willow bark and that green one. Love it. Moving on to <laughs> Tata Harper. Tata. I think we mentioned this brand in a previous video and I wrote in the description or I said Tata like tatar. Tatar. But it's just T-A-T-A. -T -A. It's tatar. Tatar. <laughs> Harpar. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I would say Tata Harper to me is the gold standard of clean when they are using a lot of botanical extracts but paired with studies and science to make sure that the formulation works. The first product that I came across, and this is probably one of their most popular products, is the resurfacing mask. Mm. I remember reading about it from, I think Selena Gomez or Vanessa Hudgens used it in like Seventeen magazine or something. But anyway, so this new line is their new Sensitize Skin line. And it's interesting because at first I was like, oh, I wonder why they came out with a sensitized 
line or like for sensitive skin. But it brings us back to how we have to understand things like botanical extracts and essential oils and things because I think their normal range is full of that, right? So then some people might really have enjoyed the brand and the philosophy and everything that they stand for, but for whatever reason, maybe they can't have like lavender oil or anything like that. So I think this is the reason they came out with this. So they have a cleanser, they have a moisturizer, and also a, this is a radiance mask. Yeah. So which one you want to talk about first? Cleanser. Okay. Ding! <laughs> it's so luxurious, it first is. of all. It's in glass. <laughs> yes. Which could be a blessing or a curse, like depending on where you put yeah. it in your body. That is true. So this consistency is beautiful. It's not a gel. I feel like for the longest time we've only been talking about gel cleansers. I mean, it's still kind of jelly. It is kind of jelly. It's still kind of jelly. But not in like a Crave yeah. Beauty or a Then I Met You yeah. kind of sense. But I like using these types as a dry cleanse. Mmm, me too. Mm. I love using it in the morning or it can be the second step of your double cleanse mm -hmm. at night. And I would say the smell of it is also the gold standard of clean. Like it smells clean. Mm. All right, so I just looked up how much this line is. How much do you think the cleanser is, Phil? <laughs> Your face, you look so shy. <laughs> 60, 70 dollars? 70 plus 16. I do know that as a brand, they are more up there. Yeah. I feel like this is definitely a luxury. Yes. Then let's move on to their moisturizer because they have a moisturizer. This is the Fortify Moisturizer. So the cleanser had 18 botanical blends. Mm. This one has 24 botanical blends. And I would say for my very dry skin, it works more as a serum than a moisturizer. Mm. Yeah. And similar to the First Aid Beauty, it has that more white, Oh, does it? For me, yeah. This is yeah. definitely, I feel like, the consistency for combo oily. Yeah. Again, I don't think anyone needs to pay 120 <laughs> for a moisturizer, but I think what we try to share a lot on this channel is like to each his own. If it is something that, you know, like it's formulated for them. Yeah. Then there's the radiance mask. And I think after we just looked through the ingredients list, if I was to pay money, I would buy this one over these because it's different. Yeah, there's lactic acid in there and kaolin clay, mm. which is interesting because it's like a milky. Yeah, and the sugar probiotics is it? So it's good for your microbiome. It's helping with slightly resurfacing the skin to renew and like reveal brighter skin, I guess, because it's called the radiant mask. But what's interesting is the cowling clay aspect. Yeah. So maybe it helps to like absorb oils or something. Mm. So these I feel like I love, but wouldn't necessarily like repeat purchase all the time because there are other alternatives that you can get that are very similar to that. But something like this that offers like a different ingredient or a different formulation that you is hard to find, I would definitely pay money for. Last but not least, we have Vents, a new baby. This is their Symbiotic Defense Mist, probiotic and prebiotic. And I believe there's also Galactomyces mm. in here. And Ooh. Saccharomyces. Yeah. All the Pokemon sounding names. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. <laughs> so this actually reminds me of the Drunk Elephant Mist. Oh, the sake The one? fermented sake one. Mm. Yeah, they, they sound kind of slimmer. I think that one also has colactomyces, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, they both have probiotics. Yeah. So for this mist, there's also vitamin B3, which is niacinamide, B5, panthenol, as well as glutathione. Mm -hmm. So glutathione does help with brightening your skin. It's actually in Dr. Wu. Yeah. And arginine, which with all those ingredients combined can help subtly brighten your skin. Yes. If you were like really excited after hearing us talk about our love for the Venn products, I feel like this is a great entryway into it to really understand how, you know, these ingredients can work on your skin. So we're really excited that they came out with that one. Yeah. And with that, Fel, what is something you learned this week? <laughs> because I was actually watching a video on in the 1950s, these like high school students who were UN ambassadors right? There was one from every country. They were all kind of deliberating different aspects of prejudice, right? But they were so civil about it. And they were saying things that nowadays I think people would easily get offended by and be like, excuse me, like you invaded my country, you know, like colonization or whatever. It, like they're pretty hard topic, but the way that they were conversing was like, oh, I understand your point. But here's what I think. 
And knowing that at the end of the day, there's always two angles that you're coming at it from. And depending on where you stand, that's your perspective. Flip it on the other end, that's their perspective, right? So then I was thinking about how we communicate these days and now. Do we communicate with humility and do we open-heartedly accept people? And then questioning, do people even speak with respect? And then like how much of the things that we say is really just to prove our own point and does that have humility? You know, because you think you're right, so it's like take it or leave. And it's kind of very egotistical. So yeah, it was kind of like a wow. If, these kids are able to do that. Obviously they were in a very safe space and I know that's not reflective of like society at large, but if we were able to just take little principles of that and apply it into our everyday life, I feel like we would be much happier overall and not take everything like personal attacks in which it's not. If we wanna talk about cancel culture, that can be an episode in and of itself. Yeah. But I think these days, what I've realized is just more about empathy and dialogue, mm. right? Like being open-minded in that way. And this is something that we've talked about in previous Motivational Mondays yeah. where like unconditional empathy and kindness isn't subjective and you don't pick and choose when you want to exercise that. It's like always there, or at least you try to always be like that. So thoughts of the day. <laughs> Deep thoughts of the day. <laughs> Let us know any of your questions, whether you have anything to add on to that or whatever it is. Hope you guys are having a beautiful week, day. Now that it's getting warmer, the soul is filled. <laughs> and let's Go out and flutter. flutter. <laughs> and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh God. <laughs> it feels so like. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>